Well, tonight, for the fanatic looking for that ultimate thrill, we take a full loop back to where we started from. Okay. Motor oil is his paint. A custom-made biplane, his brush. And the sky above is Steve Pileski's canvas. It's uh, not a daredevil. Uh, what I'm really trying to do is take uh, the maneuvers of aerobatic competitions, making it into an art form. In the sky above Ithaca, New York, the artist goes to work. So I stopped making art, making studio art, and decided I would just go and make my art in the sky with the airplane trailing smoke, using it like a giant uh, pencil or drawing tool in the sky. But when you're flying, you can look out the window, you can see 50 miles this way, 50 miles that way. And what it did, it destroyed my total sense of perspective. It changed my perspective. I got ear sick just from watching this Cornell University professor. Isn't it dangerous? I'm not really worried, you know. I mean, you have to watch out. You don't hit the ground. You don't hit the buildings. You don't lose your motor. But mostly, you're looking for other planes just uh, flying through the patterns that you're making. The thing you have to remember when you're flying upside down, down is up and up is down. So if you let the plane go up, it'll really go down. So you have to be careful. It's a result of imagination and a little smoke, aerobatics, and a lot of guts. Even though Steve's insured by Lloyd's of London, I think it's safer down here. Before I go up and make a series of very uh, accurate drawings on the ground, and they're not exactly flat. Uh, sky riding, of course, it was flat. Uh, here you see I'm trying to introduce the three-dimensional maneuvers, the aerobatic maneuvers, so there are loops which are vertical, then there are circles which are around. So, yeah, really, it's, it's, it's going beyond sky riding, and it's sort of trying to take sky riding, air show, and uh, put these things together in an artistic way. However, his art is transient. Before this artist can admire his masterpiece, it is gone with the wind. As I mentioned, Steve is an art professor at Cornell University, but he's also a celebrated pilot, the winner of a Canadian national crown and other titles. And Roland, you're a pilot yourself. You think yeah. you can do that? 